Welcome to this Debaco University video where I'll be presenting the advantages and disadvantages of some water sources if you're looking at growing outdoors. All right, let's get into water sources for outdoor cannabis production, providing with some examples and some advantages and disadvantages of each. So first off, water sources. When it comes to cannabis plants, they do need water. When it comes to supplying them with water from sources other than natural rain, growers need to know how to maximize their plant's performance with the water they have available. And many times growers may have different water source options. So which one is, quote, the best or which one should they choose? Going to provide you with some advantages and disadvantages of each. So first off, pond water. So if we're looking at, we have an irrigation pond. The advantages of irrigating from pond water is that it's typically available in large quantities. Because we have to remember, we're gonna need the water to irrigate the plants the most during times of drought. However, the disadvantages are that it does typically need a multi-filter system. You can't just throw a pump in here and pump out of it. In most cases, you typically need some sort of multi-filter system to either take particulate out or to ensure you're not going to be spreading um, any of the algae potentially that may be growing in that water as well. Then we get to city water. So the advantages of city water um, or is that, or tap water may be called also, is that it's easy to get and it typically requires minimum modifications. You can literally just hook a hose up, go irrigate. Shouldn't be a problem there. However, one of the disadvantages of using city or tap water is that it can be costly uh, compared to other sources mentioned here, and limited areas have this as an option, particularly if you're in distant areas or they may not be able to supply enough water or at least justify the cost for the volume of water that you may need to water your plants. Then there is also well water. So well water is uh, supply plants in very remote locations. So a lot of times you can potentially have a well uh, dug or uh, basically bored down and irrigate water that might irrigate with water at a location that might be very distant. It's also quote, a free water source. I put free in quotes there simply because there is some costs associated with the well itself, uh, digging the well, maybe running power to the well, uh, getting that set up. But as far as the cost of the water itself, in this case, it's basically free. The disadvantage of using well water is you have to be uh, careful in dry years, depending on how deep that well is and what its replenish rate may be. Also, keep in mind that the water that you're getting pumping up from the well is often a cold temperature, and this might uh, slow down uh, growth of plants because they typically like warmer water. Uh, you want to check also the quality of your water, but with well water in particular, you want to check the temperature to make sure it's not too cold, especially in the early part of germination and propagation, so you don't stunt the plants. So hopefully this was a nice little review of looking at the different options that you might have for outdoor irrigation.